So I'm delighted to be here today to talk about our Sustainable Connected Cities Research Program. My research has a strong focus on comprehending the needs, the expectations and the experiences of the city user. So I think we've got a we have an animation? pretty interesting animation. Sure. So there's multiple facets to the research agenda, the Sustainable Connected Cities Research Agenda. Uh, for the purpose of today's discussion and for our demonstration which we're going to have, I'm just going to focus on three aspects. The first is the build out of ambient intelligent systems. Ambient intelligence. Mm. Okay, so let me explain that. Um, we're working with, uh, we're collaborating with um, some really, really world class players here to develop systems that can comprehend and rapidly change to environmental changes within an urban environment. Okay. So we need these systems to be able to capture, store, manage, fuse and analyze these big data sets from the city domain. So the idea if we can gather it all up, analyze it, we're going to create uh, uh, an environment that really caters to the needs of the people living in that city. Absolutely. The second piece of, of what I'm going to talk about today is open government data. So governments all around the world are now opening up their data. They're looking for help from researchers and developers to, to make novel use cases for these for this for these data sets. So traditionally cities are managed in silo domains and they're looking for researchers and developers to bridge those silos. So to come up with you know novel uses and uh, services that will enable more uh, the city to run more efficiently, increase commercialization, increase livability in the city. It's amazing how a lot of that data isn't machine readable. I mean exactly it, it's very unstructured. Right? Exactly. Very unstructured data and huge volumes of it. Okay, so I understand you've got uh, a pretty cool demo. Do you want to? I sure do. Can I take a step through that? Sure. So what we're going to see here now is um, a typical flood scenario that happens in the city. Wow, we're finally over at the we're demo. We're finally over at the demo. So um, typically, when a city manager um, has to make, you know, real-time decisions. Um, there's a lot of these data sources that are coming in and they're missing pieces of information which can often, <laughs> which can often uh, lead to prolonged impacts of incidents. So if you see here, just and you can see on the city manager yep. console, okay. you'll see that all is well in our area around us in Beijing. All is quiet, we have no problems whatsoever. Okay. So I'm going to need your help here and I'm going to actually give you two jobs today to keep you busy. Oh boy, I don't know, CTO. Doubtful. The, the first the first job I'm going to ask you to do is to make it rain, right? So if you could pour some of the water into our simulated drain here. Okay, it's a very lovely drain, I just have to say. <laughs> okay, so what you can see, if you just stop there, what you can see is you can see an early warning sign coming from the inbuilt sensor, or our flood sensor in there. And what's happening is we have an open data feed coming in, the weather data feed, which is saying, you know what, it's going to be heavy rain for the next 48 hours. So if you'd like to keep pouring oh, that to create that more rain, that more heavy rain. Now I know why I have this, this big picture. Okay, well, more, 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 more. You want me to go over the banks here, so to speak? Uh, you can, you can, yeah, you can stuff like that. Okay. So I'm the concerned citizen, right? So this is our, our City Watch um, prototype application. And what we're trying to do here is harness the, the power of the onboard sensing in the devices, in the smart device that everybody's uh, going around with, with the willingness and openness of, of citizens to try and share that information. So it's this kind of socially led, technology enabled mass collaboration for cities. Okay. So I'm going to take a photo and as you can see, I have some city points already. So that is the incentivization piece where the citizen can actually um, give this information to the city. So you can see the photo has, has come in. So now what you're getting oh, is you're getting an alert, right, to show right. that the, the, this is a high priority alert now and it needs you to be able to to um, react to this alert. Oh. So if you'd like to just press here. You did let me push oh, sorry, it. Sorry, And what you can see also, you can see a news feed come in to say, you know what, this is a traffic news feed to say that we're gonna have increased traffic in the area. Okay. So if you'd like to, if you'd like to, yeah, please do, okay. please. So we're gonna initiate, initiate traffic, traffic mitigation point, sure. dispatch the drain cleaning crew. Sure. And reward the citizen subscriber. We got it all. Exactly. And we're confirming it. 
So now what you'll see has happened is I have received extra points for giving the information to the city, which makes me incentivized to actually give more, point, give more information back to the city. You'll see that we have a flood warning and a traffic diversion has happened, which routes the traffic away from the area. So it's all coming together, all this, these data sources coming together to inform the, the city management and the citizens. Okay, so it sure makes managing a complex city a lot easier when you can just sit here and watch these events play out and take exactly. action. Exactly. Exactly.